Oh no, someone stole my warehouse. Oh my god. Okay guys, don't panic. I know where it is. It's right here. Yeah, that was scary, wasn't it? Imagine if someone or something in city skylines could steal warehouses, could steal whole buildings or even districts. Like an alien invasion where instead of the aliens stealing cows, they would steal warehouses. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I want to apologize uh, for this small moment of insanity, but um, you know, sometimes I press the record button and um, I just say whatever comes to my mind. It's not like I have a billion subscribers, but whichever quantity of viewers and subscribers I have, just be assured you have my utmost respect because if you spend some time sharing this gaming experience with me, I really appreciate it. But at the same time, be prepared because sometimes it doesn't happen that often as moments. Sometimes yes, sometimes no, but more often than not, I'm, I'm quite normal. But I have some um, spurts of insanity that will, you know, pop up from time to time. Anyway, welcome everybody to another episode of City Skylines Unmodded with me, Iflux, trying to bring some sanity into the traffic of this city. Probably I'm not the most qualified person to bring sanity after what just happened, but um, I will try. I, I don't give up. I'm a very determined person, okay? And um, on the previous episodes we were dealing with the uh, with, uh, industry traffic. Today we will deal with residential traffic, but I just remembered that um, I wanted to tweak this and at uh, on the previous episode I was like mm, I don't know if I can actually move these things from here I don't know where to put them and then when I was preparing to record this episode I'm like I was already putting stuff here why not put another one here as well I mean by another one I mean the warehouse and hopefully if let's say this is four things so 25% less cargo traffic here, I hope. But obviously I'm not going to let this blank and I decided to start record and explain to you my my thinking, which is what I've just done. Does this make sense? Oh, airplane, hello. I lost it. Oh, it's here. Oh, look, look at the airplane. There he goes. Oh, it's quite busy. Whee. Probably I should have put this rock here, <laughs> right next to where they land. <laughs> Hey bird, bye. Yeah, let's see. Let's see how close they are. Oh, I just got this very sadistic idea. Oh, pause, pause. Okay, this is just for science. Okay, and apologies. This is this is a traffic fix kind of episode. Okay, but again, I'm I don't know if the planets are aligned in a certain way or whatever. But I'm feeling a bit uh, weird. So I'm going to put this here right where. The airplanes get ready to land. Uh, maybe another one here, yeah. And just in case they miss the first two, uh, another one here. Yeah, okay. So let's see if I'm going to cause any accidents. This is just for science. Just science. Here it comes. It is, oh my god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my god. Oh, it's going to be awful. Oh, it just went right through. Okay. But then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, this is, ah oh man, this is stupid, okay, ah, I'm sorry guys, I'm sorry, it's just I saw this rock and the airplane is like, yeah, ah, it would be nice if it crashed, I mean, it would be nice because it's a game, just, you know, kind of morbid curiosity, it, it wouldn't be nice in real life, okay, and it goes, let's see how close this airplane goes, over this rock, Whoa. Yeah, sound effects. Yes. Amazing, isn't it? Okay. Enough craziness. Uh, but yeah, probably this rock is not in the best place. But hey, to give a bit of emotion, imagine you're a passenger in this plane and you're like, whoa. Well, probably you wouldn't see because you're sitting next to the window. So you don't see in front. Probably wouldn't realize, but the pilots would have quite a thrill. Look, there they go. <laughs> okay, maybe, maybe as a passenger, because it's so close, you'd actually understand how close 
how close you would be from death. And again, I think near-death experiences are useful because most people that have near-death experiences, they value life more, you know. Sometimes we get caught up in, you know, first world kind of problems and certain things in life give us perspective on our own problems, you know. And um, yeah, and why not almost dying? That's, I guess, a good experience. Almost not actually dying, okay? I don't recommend dying to anyone listening, okay? And also because I have very, very few subscribers. Anyway, let's go here and focus on actually playing this game. So, yeah, we still have quite a bit. Oh, oh, this also generates traffic, the recycling center. Can I move it? Oh, now it's just the song. Let's move it, move it, came to my head. But I'm not going to sing it. No, no, that's just be too cruel. It would be just too cruel for my viewers. No. I refuse to do that um, but yeah I think I'm going although look at the color you see I have the building selected because I'm moving it and there's only two trucks in um, purple trucks on this road so maybe this one isn't really needed but but I'll move it anyway yeah let's, let's do that okay and again the purpose is to have less cars in this road. I think this is going to be good. Now I need to redecorate this because <laughs> yeah not having mods means that this is not easy to do. So I'm going to do this in a time lapse. I'm going to fill up this zone and I'll be right back. Definitely on my next city I will I will probably play with mods some quality of life mods I'm not going to play with a lot of mods but one of the things I will do is to have the I think there's like a kind of like a paintbrush where you can actually paint these empty things kind of like the same way I'm doing this with these tiles but with different color because this yellow is not really great I would like to have this all grey, you know, and have some more props to put some more, like, containers and stuff, yep. What I miss the most is have more assets. Um, yes, I do have some parking lots, and I do have a few more recycling centers, but that's it. Because I, I feel bad about using them, but at least parking lots, I, co I could not not have them, if it makes sense. And also the only reason why I'm using recycling centers as well, it's because they don't um, they don't count as um, I couldn't replace them uh, directly with the uh, um, uh, what I call these things. Oh, sorry guys, let me check the name of this. The landfill. So if I plop the landfill and then one of these, it the option to empty wouldn't appear. And that's why I'm choosing, I chose to add a few where I can actually empty and get rid of the landfill sites. It's, so these are the only two reasons uh, that I'm, I'm doing this. But yeah, I didn't want, I really wanted to play the game as vanilla as possible. So except for those two options, I'm not playing with any mods at all or assets. But yeah, on my next city, I will definitely play with some. It's going to be very lightly modded. Um, it's just a few quality of life mods and something that allows me to especially in the industry areas that's where i miss the most i would like to have more options you see these containers here for example i would love just to put a bunch of parks um, with containers around here i think it would look cool or like this you see these storage places i would like i would love to have them yes there are buildings like those um uh, where are they with that shape for example, this this could be a small warehouse, and there are there are others with kind of uh, like this, where they, you can actually see the different materials that, that they store and stuff. But 
it's not enough variety. I would like to have this these container types, not just the materials, if it makes sense. But yeah, okay. Anyway, uh, I think I will, I've been rambling for quite a bit. And this, yes, dear viewer, this is a, a <laughs> traffic fix episode. Okay, it doesn't look like it yet, but I promise I will get to it. And yeah, it really just moving um, those two buildings, the recycling center and one of the warehouses seem to have improved traffic here. Let's take a look at the traffic flow. 79%. Ooh, it's not amazing. It's not too bad because I'm aiming for 80, so almost there. But I wanted to be consistently above 80. And now it's consistently below 80. At least every time I look at it. So around here things are not too bad, they are slightly red, but okay, this one is backing up a bit. I was going to say I don't see any any traffic backing up, but this one is backing up a bit. Is it a type of road? Hmm. Maybe it is a type of road. Okay. Let's fix that then. Let's upgrade this road to a normal road. Yeah. A parking lot in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> It doesn't look good. <laughs> this not not with this type of road. Okay, let me upgrade this because this is nonsense. Okay, now this looks a bit better. I think. Okay, and they are still stopping. Why are they stopping? Why are you stopping here? I don't understand why they are stopping. Hmm. All of them stop. And I think there's an option where I can say this is a priority road. Where is it? Uh, it's not this option, this one I think. Priority road, yeah. Let's see if this is going to help. No, they still stop. They are still stopping. Why are they stopping? This is a bit stupid, isn't it? This is quite stupid, actually. Okay, what if I invert the direction of this road? So they can just go straight ahead. Oh, but if they want to come here... Oh, they can still turn here. Let's see if this is going to make any difference, because this is... Why are you stopping, guys? Why are you stopping? Could it be because of this little road here? I cannot be just because. What is it? Ah, it was! Did you see? Immediately they start to speed up. Or not? No, they still stop. God damn it. Why are you stopping? Nobody's here! Okay, okay, that didn't make a difference. And this, did this make any difference? Or uh, we not? Yeah. Yeah. This is yeah. There's a lot of lessons learned here for me at least. It's I I clearly uh, where is it? I clearly overproduce. I should have uh, yeah. I should have done things differently. What I really wanted to do is to leave more gaps between buildings. I was trying to because I'm playing unmodded and as you can see here. I already purchased all the nine tiles. I cannot buy any more. So I was trying to cram things together as much as possible. But yeah, it's not a big surprise. But in the industry zones, uh, yeah, you shouldn't cram things. But yeah, it's not too bad. Let's see how traffic is. Yeah, seventy-nine still. Okay, it didn't really make a huge difference, did it? Yeah. Anyway. What I want to do in this episode is fix this problem right here. Okay, it it really comes and goes. I'm reaching a point in the city where, because it's quite big already, um, and uh, traffic seems to vary quite a bit. Sometimes it's busier in one section of the city, and then it gets busier in another. But um, regardless of, of that fact, I want to give them an alternative route into this area. If you want to get to anywhere around here, you don't have any other choice than to um, go to this roundabout. So what I want is to try to connect to to where? 
I don't know. I don't know actually. I don't know because I don't have space. That's why. I could try to do something funny here. If I could relocate some of these people. Can I raise this one? Oh, if I could raise and connect it here to like kind of like a curved. Oh, if I could. Ah, that would be perfect. Oh, that would be perfect. I don't think I can, but I try. I don't give up, viewers. Oh, this is a bit too tall. Yeah, this is a bit too weird. Okay, maybe if I play with the, the height. Let's see. One, two. Okay, this might not be too bad. Uh, maybe it will be just bad. If I curve it like this. Okay, just a bit like this. And I lower it. Ever so slightly. And then another like this. Oh, if I can make this work. <sighs> Oh, this doesn't look good. This doesn't look good at all. <laughs> it's like a roller coaster. Whee! Okay, this doesn't look good at all. No, 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 no. So I'm not the guy to. If you've been following my series, you know I'm not uh, uh, the type of uh, player that uh, really focuses too much on aesthetics, but I also don't want it to look like crap. Which is. is is a challenge. Mm, this gets all messed up. Okay, I will give up on this so that this is kind of straight-ish. And yeah, here it would be nice. I don't know if a road can fit behind this building, can it? Come on. Let me. Can you? No, you cannot. God damn it. Hmm. I don't know how to do that, how to do what I wanted to do, because I don't have space. I do not have space. I mean, I have space to make this ugly thing here. Ugh, it's too ugly, I cannot li can I live with this. <laughs> I don't want to live with this. I don't even know if it's going to work. Let's see. Okay. I will let the game try to convince me by being extremely efficient uh, when using this. Okay, I'm going to speed this up. I mean, it doesn't really change a lot when I put triple speed, but let's give it a few minutes and let's see if people actually start to use this. I think this is working, unfortunately, because that means I, I will have to leave this roller coaster right here, or maybe not. Can I fit something parallel to this? Please tell me I can. Come on. Let me fit something parallel behind this building. It has to fit. Come on. I need to turn off the snapping of the road guidelines here, right here, here. No. <sighs> Seems to have fixed it <laughs> completely <laughs> just by giving them this small detour. This exit right here before the roundabout. But I mean, from this perspective, it's not ugly, right? You can't really see the flaws. <sighs> I really didn't want to leave this this way. On the other hand, we are almost done with this series because the goal is to reach 150k. Look, we are almost there. And this, you can barely see it. <sighs> decisions, decisions. I think I can live with this. I can live with this. Roller coaster here, kinda. Ah, <sighs> okay. Please, my dear viewers, forgive me. I think I will leave this here. Look, it fixed the problem. I don't have space to actually put the road I wanted to put here. Ah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can. I would also like to make some, somewhat, some like curved 
thing. Um, I could maybe here. I could, if I move this building slightly to the right. Okay, not slightly, a lot to the right. Let's see if I don't destroy the pathway too much. Okay, I destroyed one pathway. But can I raise this? Two, three, four. Back again. I think now I can. Oops. Two, three, four. I, I guess I'll have to redo the pathways. Okay, it's at the same level. Okay, if I do something like this, and then. Oh, come on, let me. Uh, 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 it's okay, here it should be okay. If I do something like this, will anyone use this? Okay, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. Let's wait and see. I'll, I'll do another time lapse. Mm, this time lapse, I was eating chocolate. Oh, the first car, I was going to say, only a garbage truck and the police car use this. Here it's just me just being uh, weird, because there's no problem I'm trying to solve by putting this road here. I don't know why I did it. I guess I was hoping that um, if a lot of cars started to use this, it would be a sign for me to delete this one. But look, from this angle, it doesn't look too bad. Hey airplane, bye. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I was saying, oh, I'm, I'm eating so much chocolate recently. It's uh, I love, I love the Marks and Spencer milk chocolate. They have this called the uh, what is called Swiss chocolate something Neapolitans from Marks and Spencer. Yeah, this is not a sponsored video, by the way, because I'm a micro channel. But um, yeah, anyway, I'm not really promoting this. I just, I, I love it. Very yummy. <coughs> okay, let's see. This roundabout is a bit busy. A bit busy. I should probably prioritize this road as well. Oops. Uh, this one here. Not the car, the road, priority road. Yeah, let's do that. There's so many things I'll do differently. The more I look at this city, I think that's normal, right? Probably happens with you guys as well. That when you you reach a certain milestone in the city, you look back it's like ah, I should have done this in a certain way or another. But I think the extra challenge in this type of of game I'm doing is the the fact that. <laughs> This is unmodded, and I'm limited to those nine tiles. But yeah, I'm happy with this. Let's see the impact. Yeah, okay. It's one percent, but every little bit helps. And no, I'm not promoting Tesco. Okay. Mm. By, by the way, for those of you that are not from the UK, the little bit helps is a marketing. Uh, phrase of Tesco which is like a, a, a supermarket chain I think they are worldwide oh no this is getting crap again nobody's using this again but you guys are probably going where let's use the tools at my disposal which is this one yeah I need to find yeah, I need to give them more options okay so this so these two roads I created <laughs> Nobody's using them. So, yeah. And the thing is, I don't have space. These buildings here are affecting the possibility of me putting roads elsewhere. Yeah. How am I going to do this without major reconstruction work? Because I'm lazy. And uh, I don't want to move or destroy a bunch of stuff. Oh, look at this. Ah. <sighs> I have to find a way to connect these to somewhere here, I think. I could do underground. I could do underground. Yeah, I think I could. And I also think I should. And probably connect here. Oh no, I'm getting ideas, guys. 
if I can, if I can do this. Oh no, while I was recording, I ran out of space. I didn't notice that the default record location of the software, the video capture software I'm using, is on the C drive, where I don't have that much space. And probably I'm Am I recording for that long? Oh wow, yeah, it's been half an hour already. Okay, that's... Oh my god. Oh my, holy, holy... Shh. Okay, I'm not going to swear. Oh my god. Look at this! I made things worse. How can I make things worse? How... how... is it... What? It started with this road. It's probably this road's fault. Okay, I'm going to delete this. I'm sorry. And I'm going to delete this path. Just because. Look at this! <laughs> what have I done? Oh, what have I done? What have I done? Oh, this deserves a screenshot. Get out of here, Chippy. Oh, this deserves a screenshot. From where? From here. Yeah, oh wow, that's a lot of traffic. Let's take a screenshot. Okay, I don't know how I messed this up. I don't know what happened here. Look at this. Look at this. This only started after I put this. Oh my god. Yeah, I definitely need to find a solution. And I'm afraid it's not going to be pretty. So, yeah. I need to give them more options. I shouldn't have uh, designed this road this way. Meaning, all this traffic all terminating at the same place. I should give them more, more options. This thing here seemed to have fixed it, but then for some reason, putting that road here could be a coincidence. It could be a coincidence, but look, look how big line of traffic this is. It's <laughs> Let's see the percentage. Yeah, yeah, look at this red, red line. <laughs> oh my god, get out, Shirpy. <laughs> Let me enjoy the chaos. Oh, I need to take a, a screenshot from here as well. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, uh, okay, this needs to be fixed. And uh, when I'm in, in this mood, it means I'm not going to pay so much attention to aesthetics, which is probably going to make me feel bad. Oh well. Okay, let's do this and let's go under. Oh no, this is not parallel. This needs to be parallel. If it's not parallel. Oh yeah, I didn't have the road guidelines. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do this now. Parallel to the road. Yes, like this is fine. Perfect. Are you parallel? You're not parallel. Damn it. Okay, I need... Yes, parallel. Like here. Then you go like this. No? Yes? No? No? No, no, because there's a... Oh, God damn. Okay, what about like this? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, wait a second. Wait, wait for it. If I do it like this, just a little bit, just a little bit, I said, and then one, two, can I, can I, come on, let me slope too steep, no. Okay, what if I just do it like this? Oh, it's this building. Okay, this building has to go. This building has to go. these dormitories I mean let's see attractiveness yeah I don't need so many dormitories okay screw the dormitories if I delete this and this how much am I affecting how much am I affecting the attractiveness it's still beautiful it is still beautiful okay Okay, now now I can work with this space, I think. 
yeah, I think I can work with this. Okay. So first things first, I was going to connect this somewhere else. So and I need some space. Come on, don't tell me it's too steep. God damn it! Why, if I put it slightly to the left, to the right, it works. Why? 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 It's just one. Oops! Oops! Oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, okay. Oh, phew. okay. Where do I want this to terminate? I think I wanted it to go all the way here, didn't I? I think I want to do that. So let's go. Let's go. One more down. One more up. And then. I think I want it to curve like here. And then oh I need the road guard lines. I hope it's not going to be too ugly. And then like this. Oh I need this road first. Oh no, this is going to break the fence. Damn it. Mm, I don't know what, what, what I'm doing guys. Okay, I'll fix the fence. Screw it. I will fix it. Oops, like this. Yeah, okay. And now like this and soft, smooth curve like that. Okay, now I just need to change the direction. And hopefully don't ruin any of the roads above it. Okay. So now they can cars that go to any of these areas, they can just use this road instead and everything is going to be all right and now I can just fix the fence around here with this park which park is this this is city park isn't it yeah let's grab the fence so I can just grab the fence and make it go all around right like this perfect okay maybe not perfect but quite good and then here, here, and here. Oh yes. Yeah, okay, that didn't didn't turn out too bad. Okay, now we will see if people will actually start to use this. Oh yeah, I forgot to connect this. Small details. Let's see if I can connect this. I can perfect. This is perfect. Come on, what the hell happened here? What have I done? Yeah, okay, this should work. I'm tempted to reconnect this, but no, no, no. But I will, I think, still put this road here. Now that I clear this space, <laughs> I think, I think this, in the long run, I think this is going to be useful. Come on, whoa. Okay, and now, like this, yeah, oops, okay, yeah, this is going to be useful, and now they have three options, one to go around here, do they have, actually have a connect, oh no, they have to come all the way back, no, 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 they can go through, oh no, they can't, can I, no, Oh yeah, I don't know how useful this road is going to be, but yeah, we'll see. We will see. And I want to see cars using this road. Come on, after all this work, please tell me that this is useful. Let me double check the university attractiveness. Yeah, it's still good, okay. okay. I'm going to do a, a time lapse while time passes and I'm going to See if I have more chocolate to eat in the meantime, I'll be right back. So 
what I'm experimenting with is if there are lanes dedicated to the different routes they can take, uh, maybe things will flow better. Evidence suggests that no, that's not the case, but I have another theory, which is this should be curved, this road. If this is kind of curved, they won't slow down as much. If it's like... Uh, okay. okay. I, I probably will make things worse, which is something I've been successfully making. Every time I try to make it better, I actually make it worse, but... I don't know if I told you, I am a bit stubborn and persistent. And I am not going to give up. Okay, this pathway is completely useless. Now, so bye bye. And uh, I didn't give up on trying to make this work. Okay, I need to try to actually. Oh, this is not going to look good, is it, guys? This is not going to. Okay, I've seen more things in my life, and boom. Okay, let's see if my theory is correct and traffic is going to start flowing better with a curved road straight into another highway kind of road. Yeah, okay. So two lines all the way here, one line, wow, it's being quite used, okay. Oh, maybe I fixed it, I can't believe it. Okay, there's a... Um, more traffic, more accumulated traffic than what it should because of all these tweaks and stuff, but it seemed to clear it quite quickly. Wow, maybe I did fix it, guys. Yeah, the angle I don't know if you notice in your cities, but I notice at the angle that the roads intersect with other roads uh, influences the speed. So if this was completely straight like this, because it's such such a sharp curve, they slow down more, and like this, it's just just go right through, which was, I guess, the main issue. And are people using this? Come on, I want to see cars using this. I was seeing it earlier, but I want to see it now. Yeah, I think I think it's good. I think. Oops, I think it is good. It doesn't look too bad. I don't mind this not being symmetrical. Although I, I might help these guys. You see they slow down a lot, much more than these guys. Because this is a sharp turn. But they, they don't have any issues at all. Yeah, I like this. I actually like it. Okay. Let's see the traffic flow. Let's see the traffic flow. Okay. Wow, much better. Yeah, this was completely red. And now it's it's green-ish. And we have more. Where do we have more problems? Uh, okay, this is the intermittent problem. Here this, I think it's impossible to not make it busy here. Here this, oh, okay. I, I didn't notice this before. Why are you guys stopping? You have a stop sign, you do have a stop sign here. Can I remove that stop sign? Let's see. Oops. And make a priority row. But then this one gets the stop sign. <laughs> no, they both have stop signs. Okay. This really wasn't my intention. Can I take... Okay, not a priority road anymore. And you... I guess it's because it's merging with the motorway. But why are you slowing down? There's no cars. Go. Go, go. Oh, because this is too... Why is this too? Because I couldn't upgrade. I couldn't upgrade. Yeah, I could. Okay, I need to fix this. Pause, 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 pause. Can I connect it to the other section right here? Oops. Not this one. Can I do something like... Okay, this can't snap to anything, otherwise I won't be... Here. Come on, I saw some blue stuff. Maybe I have to do it from here. No, like this. 
yeah, follow the shape of that road. And now, ooh, that would be just too good, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Okay, I think I have to do this in a time lapse because it's going to be a trial and error, and I don't want to bore you guys today. Oh, 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 come on. Actually, I might be able to make it. Yes, yes, no time lapse needed. No time lapse needed. Okay, now you should have a dedicated lane. You shouldn't have to stop. The stop signs are gone. Yeah. Oh, it's so good. Some part of me hates fixing traffic, but I think the majority of my brain cells do enjoy. It's, it's I think it's the only real challenge this game gives me. And I think most players is to fix traffic. Because everything else within this game is not really a challenge. It's kind of like a sandbox, relaxing game where you can just build your own city the whichever way you like it. Which is pretty good, but I do... I like, I like to play games with a challenge. Even if they are mostly for aesthetic reasons and relaxing like this. I still like when games give me, games give me a bit of, of a challenge. Okay, this worked quite well. Yeah. So playing with the lane sizes, I like for example here. Yeah, this is also very important. The curves here. So there's a few tips for you guys. I hope you've been paying attention. Oh no, did I? Did I mess this one up here? No, I guess it's just normal. Normal busy traffic. It's not too bad because there's a few intersections here. Uh, yeah, I should be okay. Yeah, let's see the percentage again. 79, yeah. Okay, still not amazing. But not too bad either. I'm happy that we fixed this. We fixed this. And what else do we have to fix? So, got so much red around here. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be a lot of track traffic fixing episodes because this has been quite long. I need to wrap this up. Yeah, it's almost one hour I've been playing. Hopefully I'll be able to edit the episode and actually be around half an hour. I don't know. I we'll see. You guys will see my editing skills, how much I can compress the time I've spent here. But in real time, real life time, this has been one hour fixing a couple of issues. Yeah, and then next is going to be this. And this is going to be the same logic, I think. All of this traffic coming from here terminates here, and I need to give them options. And here is uh, a candidate. But I need to be able to curve. Uh, maybe here. Yeah, the, I have options. This this I have a bit of... Oh, actually, I think I'm going to do just, just that right now. I can just do this, and I don't even have to destroy anything at all. I think I'm just going to do this. And these are three lines, so I'm going to make this two lines. So this is dedicated for traffic going to the right. And then here they can spread around this area. Okay. We'll see if this is going to work. Yeah, we'll see if this is going to work. Yeah, this is going to be quite busy around the world. I already built a quite big one. And again, the angle here that this uses. Well, but this is quite busy, so I can't really complain. Let's upgrade this to these faster roads. Let's see if this will help. Because faster. We'll see. Okay, guys, I, I need to wrap this up. It's been quite long. And yeah, well, next episode I will continue doing this, and now I'm focusing on residential traffic. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoy this. And um, if you uh, are uh, looking for Halloween uh, chocolate, uh, chocolate for Halloween, I should say, I recommend Marks and Spencer. Really, really good. Really yummy milk chocolate. Also the dark chocolate isn't bad if you like it. Uh, for me it's a bit too strong. The 70% dark chocolate is not my favorite. 
And yeah, by the way, I'm blaming Halloween. Uh, I'm blaming the fact that I'm eating a lot of chocolate now because I've been trying which chocolate is best for Halloween and um, and I found something I really like in Max and Spencer. Yeah, let's all believe that's the reason why Halloween. Yeah, let's blame Halloween because of my recently found uh, chocolate addiction. Okay, I hope... Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Sorry guys, I'm just staring at the flow of traffic thinking about how I'm going to fix this, but I have to stop. I have to stop and go to bed. It's quite late. I have a lot of things to do. I was going to say a <laughs> bad word, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> so I changed the things in time. Anyway, okay, I'm rambling. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, next episode we will try to fix this. Although I put this here, it didn't really seem to make a big difference, but yeah, maybe they're still, they still adjusting. Are you guys still adjusting? Yeah, because this lane you can only turn right here, so they should start to move. If they, yeah, they're trying to merge here. Um, okay. Yeah, they shouldn't be merging here. Yeah. Yeah, this is quite busy roundabout. And I think we have another problem around here. Yeah, this avenue. Hmm. This roundabout at the moment is the big problem. Not not so much this avenue. Although this road tends to be quite busy. I might have to turn this into a roundabout. Maybe. Because this has traffic lights. Yep, this has traffic lights. And look, the cars are crossing in front of each other and stuff. Yeah. Okay, I said I was going to stop rambling, and I didn't. And apologies, guys. It uh, must be the, the sugar rush. Yeah, must be it. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found some good tips for your city. If you have any ideas or suggestions on how am I going to fix this, please let me know. And I'll see you again in the next episode. Bye.